um, parcels are open at the moment. I have them up in my stand store. Uh, you can see the link under this video. I'm offering voice readings at the minute. They're on special offer, they're half price. And uh, go ahead and book through the link and I'll get back to you within 24 to 72 hours. So this is going to be a reading on a mediumship reading on Sebastian Rogers. I would like to tune in <clears throat> to Sebastian's energy. I've been connecting with him all afternoon and I just have a few questions in mind that I would like to ask him about that evening, that night, before he was no longer in the home for whatever means or way he left the home. Um, okay, Sebastian, could you give me five cards, please, to give us all an insight of how things were for you that evening? In fact, I'm going to ask for the week, the run-up to the fateful night. Um, Sebastian, if you could tell us how things were um, on that week, the week um, that's running up to your disappearance. Okay, five cards. Bottom of the deck, the Hermit. So I feel he was on his own a lot, retreating, thinking about stuff. First card is the Ace of Swords. Planning to take action on something. The Six of Pentacles is all about even playing ground. The Eight of Wands, moving forward at great speed. The Knight of Wands, passionately moving forward. And the last card, the Three of Pentacles. So if you just give me a minute, I'm just going to tune in here with uh, Sebastian and put the story together. Professional Psychics United, PPU, a network of more than 380 psychics, has a volunteer psychic rescue team. PPU psychics usually become involved only after the police contact them. Paul Kurtz, head of the Committee for the Scientific Investigation of Claims of the Paranormal, dismisses psychics outright, saying that much of their detection is actually wild guessing. A 1993 article in the organization's journal revealed that 31 of 50 large police agencies surveyed have never used so I'm psychics. I'm going to use my Whispers of the Unsolved here and um, clarify the five cards, five tarot cards that have been given. Um, and see what we get. The first card. Distraction. Underneath the Ace of Swords. Imprisonment. Under the Six of Pentacles. Psychic Abilities. Intuition. Underneath the Eight of Wands. Those two cards fell out, or three actually. I feel I need to take them, top secret, greed, and accident. The FBI also does not hire psychics and does not plan to use them. The usefulness of psychics in police investigations is controversial, but psychics have long been and will undoubtedly continue to be involved in unsolved criminal investigations. My question, when does the dabbling of tarot card reading and trance-like states to contact the dead have a place in an open investigation of a missing child? Um, and there's just a feeling of hopelessness is what I'm feeling at the minute. So that's just confirming everything that we got before. Um, I'm going to leave those cards there, the lies, the breakup, divorce, separation, and the, the rival competition, because they're just going to sit there and remind me um, why this whole thing happened. Because Sebastian just confirmed it all to us there. Okay, um, now I'm going to ask Sebastian if he would tell me um, where he is now. Um, when I was thinking this afternoon, I just thought about how often that home card came up. Um, there was an awful lot of references to the home and private property. And I was watching a few other um, readers talking about uh, the case and just looking for similarities. And I thought, I'm going to go down the avenue of him being hidden or buried in an area that the public doesn't have access to um, initially. First of all, I'm going to ask, um, has his body been moved um, since uh, the first place that, that he uh, was laid? Can you um, confirm that, please, um, Sebastian? Am I right in feeling that your uh, remains have been removed from the first resting place? Can you confirm that, please, please Sebastian? This is just the beginning of an hour-long video by Silver Violet Flame regarding her recent tarot card reading. I'm not going to continue the video because, as you can see, she takes the reading into a direction that is dark and disturbing. If you wish to listen to the entire video, a link is provided below. It is important to note that while this is a smaller channel, the videos regarding the missing child are generating thousands of views. This is an egregious disregard for the child's family in my opinion. Social media, video hosting and streaming platforms have given a wider audience to those that want to ply their psychic wares. 
However, while a family is navigating the world they now find themselves in, a world where their child is missing, they now also have to contend with videos that have titles like Missing Teen, Tarot Reading, Where's the Body, or Missing Teen, Final Resting Place. Common decency has eroded to such a degree that these content creators are making money off the suffering of families. Lines are being crossed every day under the guise of for entertainment purposes only and in my opinion. While I don't have all the answers, I do know this is profoundly wrong.